Welcome all and thanks for joining me. In this video we revisit the cast of the 1991 movie City Snickers. We'll revisit the cast of this 90s comedy classic and update them for you in 2023 with some interesting facts to boot. So if you're ready, let's hit rewind. City Slickers is a 1991 comedy drama film directed by Ron Underwood and starring Billy Crystal, Daniel Stern, Bruno Kirby and Jack Palance. The film follows the story of a group of city dwellers who go on a cattle drive in the western United States. Many filmgoers would rather forget the sequel to Ron Underwood's 91 hit City Slickers and instead consider Jack Palance's memorable Oscar acceptance speech as the real climax of the film. Palance finally won an Academy Award at 73 years old and used his time on stage to prove that age is just a number by performing some one-arm push-ups, much to the delight of the ceremony's host and Palance's City Slicker co-star Billy Crystal and millions of home viewers. When Crystal first came up with the seed of the idea for City Slickers, he immediately thought of Jack Palance as the crusty bad guy with the heart of gold. He thought of him because the first movie he had ever seen was the 1953 movie Shane, where Palance played the bad guy. The actor left a lasting impression on Crystal, who was seven years old at the time of his first movie-going experience. Because his father was producing jazz concerts, Billy saw Shane seated on Billy Holiday's lap. The film also marked Jake Gyllenhaal's film debut. He was just 10 years old when he was cast as Crystal's son, Danny Robbins. Crystal remembered Gyllenhaal singing show tunes from South Pacific on the set. Rick Moranis was set to play Phil all along. Daniel Stern became a last minute replacement for Moranis, who had to drop out after his wife was diagnosed with liver cancer. She sadly passed away the following year. Jack Palance initially turned down the role of Curly as he was committed to another project. So Crystal offered the part to Charles Bronson, who was not pleased. He cursed Crystal out because he was dead on page 64. Palance, of course, ended up taking the role and the rest is history. Palance got into an argument with the director on the first day of shooting. He apparently yelled at Ron Underwood over his first direction, but everything went smoothly after that. When Crystal asked what had happened, Palance explained that he always gets nervous on his first day of shooting. Sure enough, Tim Burton told a similar story about Palance snapping at him on the first day of shooting on the set of Batman in 1989. City Slickers went on to be a box office hit, reaping in $130 million from its budget of $27 million. On Rotten Tomatoes, City Slickers received a certified fresh rating of 91%. One of these rare cinematic happenings, a movie that deftly combines laughs with sentiment and occasionally serious thought. City Slickers is rarely about how the West can never be more than a dream to contemporary urban Americans. With a high comic style, it shows us what a lovely dream that is. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider tapping the like button and support if you're enjoying our videos. And as always, I'll see you on the other side.